Be Lord and master of your house. Here's the first way you honor Jesus. You honor him in your home. Second way you honor Jesus is you honor him with your heart. Look at the text. Verse 2 and 3 shows us that there's at least three different ways to honor him with your heart. Look at verse 2. So, so they gave him a dinner there. Martha served and Lazarus was one of those reclining with him at table. It says, Mary therefore took a pound of expensive ointment made from pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. I don't know if you've picked this up, but we got three different names in two verses. You got Martha, you got Lazarus, and you got Mary. And one of the things I found out when I was studying scripture earlier this week is that all three of them are honoring Jesus. They're just all doing it in different ways. And one way is it right and one way is it wrong. It's just we get to see three different dispositions of the heart on how to honor Jesus. And my hope and prayer is that we would strive to do all three. Here's the first way. Martha, the Bible says, is serving. If you notice, if you read scripture, she has a reputation of serving. Anytime, like, by the way, she's serving in Simon the leper's house. It's not even like she's serving Jesus in her own house. Yeah. She's serving in someone else's house. She just has the gift of hospitality. A lot like Miss Carol. Yeah. You ever see Miss Carol running around? Yeah. Like, yeah. Cleaning up? And like, honest to God, she'd be looking at spots. I'm like, it ain't even dirty. <laughs> she'd be like cleaning little spots. Tasha told me one time she was in here cleaning every single chair in the, in the room. And she got in between the silver. I'm like, that's just too much. I don't know. Like, but she got the gift of hospitality. Yes. And, and so what you see with Martha is, Martha is always serving. And sometimes she serves to the point where Luke would say she's distracted and anxious. Mm. But nevertheless, nevertheless, for her it was a valid expression of her love for Jesus. She wanted to show Jesus how much she loved him by serving him. Maybe she's cooking. Maybe she's bringing the food. Maybe she's going to Jesus and saying, what else do you need? Because he's the highlighted guest in this house. What else do you need? But Lazarus is in the house too. And Lazarus Lazarus is doing something different than Martha. Martha serving, Lazarus is chilling. Mm. <laughs> Do you see the text? The Bible literally says that he's reclining at the table. But notice, he's not doing it by himself. He's reclining with him, Jesus, at the table. So, it's, it, you know, one of the things it, that, that we have to be careful of, when we read texts like this, it's easy for us to push negativity in the text. Mm -hmm. It's easy for us to say that Lazarus is lazy because Martha's serving and he's not. Mm -hmm. That would be a mistake. What Lazarus is doing is honoring Jesus almost similarly. He's not serving. He's honoring Jesus by being in his presence. Mm -hmm. He's honoring Jesus by spending time with him. He's listening to Jesus disciple. He's listening to Jesus talk. Like I I'm sure they talked about I, I can't prove this but if you go back one chapter to John chapter 11, look at the beginning part of John chapter 11. Jesus just raised him from the dead. I know Lazarus sitting there like, Jesus, you're a wild boy. <laughs> like, you just gonna raise me up like that. You know, I'm sitting here eating at the table. I was dead a couple weeks ago. I'm just not raised. Like, can you imagine how, like, Martha probably bringing Peter Brady, like, yo, did you see Jesus fist bumping her? Like, Jesus is killing this in last chapter. But, but, but notice here, Lazarus is literally reclining with him, with Jesus, at the table, and he's hearing Jesus talk, and he's spending time with him. And many of you, you need to move from just being Martha and serving Jesus Teacher. to actually spending time with Jesus. Because some of y'all are great employees of Jesus. But are you serving something? Are you worshiping him? So in the text, wow. Martha's like, man, look, what can I give to you? But that's an expression of honor. And Lazarus is like, no, I'm going to chill with you. That's an expression of honor. Yeah. Some of you, that's the busiest thing you can do this week is slow down and spend time with Jesus. Yeah. So what we see here is Lazarus is chilling. Martha is serving. But there's one more person in the text. The Bible talks about verse 3. Mary is there. But Mary wanted to show her demonstration of devotion to the Lord in a more dramatic way. Look at what verse 3 says about Mary. Mary therefore took a pound of expensive ointment made from pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. Mary chooses, I love this, as we're talking about Commitment Sunday, 
Mary chooses to honor Jesus by sacrificially giving to him. Mm -hmm. Don't miss this. Martha's serving. Lazarus is chilling. But Mary is giving to Jesus. And she's not just giving anything. Did you read it? An expensive, it's an expensive perfume. Like pure nard is literally, it's made from a root that probably was imported from Nepal. So it's not like you just go down to the marketplace and pick up some of this pure, expensive nard that she has. This is very expensive. In fact, if you keep going in verse number five, Judas is going to tell us how expensive it is. He says, why was this not sold for 300 denarii? Judas literally thought he could get 300. You know how much a denarius is? A den one denarius. Is, is one day's wage. And if you consider, like Auntie Anita Baker said, it's 365 days a year. Uh -huh. Consider That's 365 days. Said. Consider that one day's wage is one denarius. Like 300 denarius is like almost a year's worth of wages. Yes, wow. And so I, I did the math. This is close to forty to $50,000 in one bottle of perfume. And she takes it, which many commentators said this would have been the most valuable possession that she had. But she deemed that Jesus was worthy of her most prized possession. Wow. Can I go deeper? Notice in, in chapter.